What up, though? What it be like? It's your boy, Belly D. Williams, up in the building. And you know what? Face is not here. Since his retirement, you know what I'm saying? I've been really going through some really um personal things. You know what I'm saying? That's why I haven't really dropped no show. I haven't cracked no jokes. I ain't really, you know what? I'm just going to be honest with you. I haven't been up to it. I haven't. I, I really haven't. You know what I'm saying? I've been really going through some stuff. And you know what? Since we're going to continue on with how we normally do things around here, it's like when APA, when Farouk retired from the APA, you know, Brother Face was Farouk. I was Bradshaw. So we went from Bradshaw to JBL. So, you know, now I'm just being JBL instead of Belly D. Williams up in the building. Now, I'm really still going to be called Belly D. Williams, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to approach it like Brother Bradshaw. So yeah, and you know what? It was a uh, it was a uh, a quote. You know what I'm saying? That uh, you know I'm I'm a, I'm a movie junkie, and I'm I'm a, I'm gonna say it because it, it really resonates. A thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. It's a privilege to be among them. You know what I'm saying? That's what Vision had said in the end of the movie when he was talking to Ultron. And yeah, this last past three years of rolling with my boy face, you know what I'm saying? It's been fun. It really has been. He may come back and do a guest appearance every now and then, but it's time to move on and move forward. And I was feeling like Loki at the end of uh, Loki season two. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really want to lose my friends. One of my friends doing this, but you know. We have to move on and move forward. So it's time to elevate, move forward. And now I'm time for me to get up on my glorious purpose, my glorious purpose. And I will become the God of stories now. So with that being said, I'm from Michigan. Shout out to the amazing blue. My home school, the the Wolver Rings. Yes, baby. Michigan Wolver Rings is going back to back to back to the Big Ten Championships this upcoming second of December down in Indianapolis. And your boy may get tickets. I don't know. It depends on how the rest of this week go, if I'm feeling up to it, to make the drive down to the Big Ten Championship game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always going to be maize and blue until I, you cut me and I bleed maize and blue until I D-I-E. May I rest in peace with my head held high. We can go a whole, we can go a whole in a thousand and two. And I'll still scream maize and blue. So, getting back to the purpose of this show today is it's a new beginning. It's the time to move forward. It's the time of rejoice. It is wonderful time. We're here again with your boy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on my glorious purpose in the upcoming year. If everything goes according to plan, the Bag and Nuts crew will have a new addition in the building. And this time, and this time, since the shackles is coming off, there will be a raw and uncut version to the show. And yes, there will be actual live videos. It will not display on YouTube. I don't know if it will display on my partners where I do my podcast show, but I guarantee you. When things start lining up perfectly, and I've been working on them all week for the last couple weeks, and I'm lining it up, the horse is getting ready to come to the track, and we're going to do what we do. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Bag and Nuts crew will still drag heavy with a metal plate scraping on my sack, Belly D. Williams will continue to always come back. And, you know, we're going to just get raw. We're going to get real. And 
I'm gearing up some jokes. My pen has been dry, but hey, if you know how to spell, I'm still going to leave something on your E Y E because I'm just Mike P like that. You know what I'm saying? So I may not get sponsors, but whatever. I pay for this out of my own pocket. So the FCC won't let me be. So anyway, with that being said, yeah, I got I'm lining up the horses and everything is coming coming to fruition. You know, it was it was I've been going through some very tar- dark times. Very 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 emotionally dark times. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to lie about it. You know what I'm saying? I got I been I went to a little depressed. I've been depressed because there's a lot of personal things I've been going through. You know what I'm saying? Housing, studio situations, stuff like that, friendships. You know what I'm saying? Money, women. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. That's why I haven't really been cracking that many jokes. I haven't even put up a lot of different things about my puppies, my babies, my my angels, my chillings. But hey, once you hit that, once you hit that Davidson pothole in the middle and you start bouncing back, you know what I'm saying? You fix your suspension and you do what you do. So that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna do like I do, like I do it for TV, baby. I'll let your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we're trying to make some money. Everybody's trying to make money. So the reason why most people is broke, because they hate money. Don't understand money. And you know what? There's nobody's fault. There's, there's nobody's fault except for the person in the mirror. And you know what? I can honestly say, I, I was one of those people that hated money. I love money, but I hated it. I go to the strip club and throw a whole couple bands around like it's nothing. They wake up the next day. I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Somebody let me hold 20. Man, fuck that. You sick of being broke? Get off your ass and go get it. You know what I'm saying? I got sick of being overweight. I just got sick of being tired. I got sick of my back hurting, my knees hurting. So guess what? I went to the gym. I cried it out every day. Get up. Cry. Go to the gym. Cry. Go, go work out. Cry. And guess what? When I lost that first pound, I cried. Because all that stuff I was doing, I didn't feel like I lost anything. One pound ain't worth it. Matter of fact, hand me some chili cheese fries with some extra ground beef on top of it. Some ketchup. You know what I'm saying? And let me sit back, scratch my stretch marks, and feel good about myself. <sighs> like my man Fluffy said, it feels good Why? You in the act of eating all that wonderful good stuff. But when you're done, your stomach hurting, you're full, you're back to feeling disgruntled. It's just like drinking alcohol and doing drugs and stuff. You feel good in that brief moment, but when that moment is over, you back to the same situation that you was just in. So tell me, how is that going to benefit me moving forward? I can't get the woman I want. I can't fit in the car that I want because I want a Ferrari. And you know, that's for skinny folks and stuff like that. I'm not finna be like, oh boy, that bought a Lamborghini be hanging out the side. Got to crawl out of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, out there bought that mother freaking car out there looking like boo-boo the fool. Come on, man. You're going to drop $200,000, $300,000, dollars on the car, and you can't fit in it? You can squeeze in it, but you can't get out? Nah, not this guy. I'm a big truck kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? I like three miles to a gallon when I step on the pedal. And, yes, I will do what I do. I'm cheap, so I won't just get three miles of a gallon because, you know what I'm saying, I'm just El Cheapo. That's my nickname. I'm, like, like, like Brother Face had once said, I'm frugal. No, I'm just El Cheapo because I don't care. I'm cheap. You know what I'm saying? So with this new beginning and me on my glorious purpose, that's what I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm, dry, I'm down 20 pounds. Yeah. I finally, 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 finally got out that 600-pound club. And it's amazing to me that a lot of people say, fat men can't do anything. Y'all lazy. Y'all smell funny. That's your opinion. I'm glad you, you entitled to your opinion. Like I'm entitled to mine. Like I'm going to tell you, since, we, uh, since I became the guy of stories, I got a bunch of stories that, I'm finna talk about it. And you know what? I'm ramping it up this week, and I'm finna drop a bunch of stories all week long. Oh, glorious D. <sighs> this one young lady I was dealing with, right? She caught an attitude with me before because she said, I smell bad. I'm like, do you realize that um, 
I'm not a skinny person. I'm fat. I'm overweight. You know what I'm saying? I got fat folks. It's not like I'm fresh out the shower, smelling good, got my got my cologne on, feeling fresh to death like a million bucks. No. Nah. You catch me as soon as I get off work. See, it's an emergency. I need you to come by. So I shoot by. I'm funky as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I got dingle ball, dingleberries hanging from my genitalia. You know what I'm saying? I got swamp ass. I got funk hanging on my ass cracking shit because I've been at work. I'm farting. Guess what? You know what I'm saying? Eating fruits and vegetables, trying to get right. You know what I'm saying? Guess I'm going to pass gas. I work by myself in my own little area. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fart. I'm going to stank. I'm going to wave it away. Ooh, that's nasty. That's disgusting. I'm like, can I... You know what I'm saying? You need me to come by right like right now, right now? Yes, it's very important. You know I'm not fresh, though. You know what I'm saying? I've been at work for 12, 14 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? I want to get clean before I come by because my reputation is all I have. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a million bucks to say, huh, don't worry about that. You know what I'm saying? My rep is what I am. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, I'll come back. Then I get there. What's the emergency? I just wanted to see. You. Are you serious right now? I didn't drove 45 minutes away, 45 minutes on the opposite end of where I stay at, where I lay my head at. Do I got a pair of drawers over here so I can hop in the shower? No, nah, you can't come in. You know my husband. So why am I here? I just wanted to hug. What? I done drove 45 minutes just to give you a hug. You know what? Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, look here, Monica. Look here. I need you to do some interning real quick. Get up under this desk. Make me feel special. Make me feel special. It's man, I got to hold my breath. I can't do the best that I want to do. Well, you the one that had me come over here while I'm um un cleansed. So guess what? This is your this is your responsibility. I said, let me go home, get cleaned up before I come by here. So when a person tell you that, just be very, very clear that a person know that he's um or she is a little ripe, a little tang tang tang. You know what I mean? But people don't see it that way. They just want you to come by because there was this this. <sighs> And got an attitude about it. How are you mad when I'm telling you the truth on the whole situation? This is what it is. So don't get mad. You know what I'm saying? And I understand some people, you know what I'm saying, do certain things and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Some people is into that kind of stuff. Me personally, I'm not. I'm not. I have limitations. I'm into some freaky, freaky stuff. But the whole funk mob thing, it's, I'm really not into that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not even going to lie. When I was um, knocking on 700s, though, when I was knocking on that door, I just didn't give a care. I didn't. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. But I'm still was swagging. Until I had a little situation. I really don't want to get into details about that situation. But, you know what I'm saying, everybody had to make their change. And that was one of the changes I had to make. To improve myself to be the man that I am today. And you know what? I'm glad I got baptized in that fire to be the best man that I am. And yeah. I ain't 100%. But guess what? I'm knocking on that door. Every pound, every gram, pound, gram, ounce that I lose, I'm pushing in the direction that I want to be in. I want to be one of America's next top models and stuff. I want to come out work for Victoria's Secrets the male edition, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my gang. I, I I am what I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm overweight, but I'm working on it. I ain't quit on myself. I'm never going to quit on myself because once I quit on myself, no one should respect me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm broke. People don't respect the broke guy. But I could take a chip of cheesecake fact and get you something to eat, though. You know what I'm saying? That's not good enough for you. You need roof crisp. I'm not that guy. You want me to spend all this? And that's another thing. Side note, side note real quick. Side note. 
you want me to spend all this money on you, right? First date, second date, so whatever the case may be. We're not in a committed, committed relationship, uh, anything of that nature, but you want me to spend this kind of bread on you, right? We got this uh, 30 day anniversary. You want me to buy you gold necklaces, earrings, things of that nature, like that, right? But I say, can you buy me some new shoes? It's like $200. I'm not going to buy that for you until we get married. Okay, that's cool. I'm not gonna do this for you until we get married. And guess what? Me and you, marriage ain't on marriage ain't even on the floor. That's not even an option in my category. Cause it's two, maybe three people on this planet that'll ever, ever actually consider that. And baby girl, you ain't one of them. Trust and believe me, you is not one of them. So all them future ones that's going to come in my life and trust me trust me it will be a bunch of future ones coming in and out of my life that you know what i'm saying you want 200 dollars dinners hmm, nope not gonna happen because guess what i'm not planning on ever and i mean ever in my jericho voice do that with you because baby girl your twat is not worth that headache. So, you know, my pull-out game is pretty weak. And guess what? The only plus side about being my size right now, and I'm just going to be straight up. I can't have kids. I can't. That's the plus side about being my size. So my pull-out game is weak. I'm going to buzz all in. Yeah, I'm pregnant. That's the Maury. And that's a, he is not the father. So you can get on with that madness. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting back in my flow. Let me get, I'm getting my footing back, just like when I learned how to ice skate. Yeah, I'm getting my footing back, and I'm finna do what I do, baby. War and uncut. It's the it's your boy, Belly B. Williams, up in the building. You know what I'm saying? So on that note, it's time to cue it up and do what I do, baby. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on my glorious purpose. <sighs> I'm keeping a logo. I don't care. Brother Face will always be a part of this show. You know what I'm saying? I let your boy, man. It's going to get raw, real, and uncut. You know what I'm saying? You want to get in touch with the show? You want to comment? You want to get on the show? Email the bag and nuts crew at gmail.com. Trust believe me, I'll get you on the show. Whether we can go head to toe, we can go head to head, getting vicious with each other, raw and uncut, or we can just have a civil discussion. You know what I'm saying? So, Welcome to the pullout game this week round here. But hey, it is what it is. So when the house is rocking, you know somebody's getting they knocked in. Oh my goodness, I love the city of Cleveland. I just don't like Ohio. Ladies, your boy is on his way. Holla at ya.